men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. And what does our Soviet constitution guarantee? Bruno. Health, housing, school, job. Elena, do you plan to become a ventriloquist when you graduate? Elena, don't forget final exams tomorrow. What did he want? He's such a weasel. A jar of my aunt's stewed tomatoes. <laughs> Lucky for you, your aunt is a garden, eh? Why don't you pay attention in class? I was. Sure. I was paying attention to your legs. Ah! <gasps> uh, you! <laughs> I'm going to get you! His friend, Tuchenko, waylaid him on his way home. One of those days, I'm going to give him the stick. Don't. Sit down. Enjoy it while you can. It's going to be meat ration. There was nothing about it in Pravda. That's how I know. Sorry, Comrade Polikov, I had to go back for this. Report to the headmaster. What? Come. Elena Kozlov? Yes. I'm Colonel Victor Kudenko. Please, sit. There's no chair. No, there isn't. Then why did you ask me to sit down? To see what you'd say. You'd be amazed how many people say absolutely nothing. Do you know the story about Lenin in Zurich? Well, an artist is hired to uh, paint a picture glorifying Lenin's stay in Zurich. He unveils it before the premiere. Picture shows Trotsky in bed with Lenin's wife. The premier is shocked. Where's Lenin? Lenin, says the painter. Well, uh, Lenin, Lenin is in Zurich. <laughs> Why are you afraid to laugh? You know who told me that joke? No. Oh. Our late chairman and drop off. Really? So, uh... What? Political. It's a sexual joke. Your family strict about sex? So. You're the daughter of Yuri and Svetlana Kozlov. When you were nine years old, your mother ran off to Moscow, left you and your father. She died three years later, University Hospital, meningitis. You were raised by your father's aunt, Rosa Kozlov. Your father works at the Karpinsk Collective. He's not much of a party member, but he's very much a drinker. And your aunt is neither. What do you want from me? 
you want to be a translator? Do you want to get out of Karpinsk? Well? Yes. Good. He said he was going to train you to be a translator? He called it liaison work. Mm. With the Americans? That's what he said. So where is this man based? Moscow. <gasps> and Scott. I make it work in America. Is this the line for meat? No, 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 no. This is the fish line. The no meat line is over there on the next street. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> So, when do you go to Moscow? They're sending me to school first, near Kalinin. Ah, you've already made up your mind, huh? I miss you. I want you to have this. No, you can't give me this. It's yours. It's yours now. You better write to me. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the stick. <laughs> acting director of the Marx Ingalls Institute for American Studies. You'll be training with me for the next 10 months. One of the many things you have in common is your ability to speak English. From this day forward, that is the only language you are to speak. Even in private? In this school, nothing is private. When you hear your name called, please line up for baggage inspection and room assignment. Raya Bondarov, Elena Koslov, Tamara Ryshevsky, Lara Soryavsky, Talia Deshenko, Nadja is to me.
Excuse me, I was looking for five. Hello, I'm Elena Koslov from Karpinsk. Tamara Reshevsky. From? Kursk. Oh, I never met anyone from Kursk before. How did you hear about this place? A recruiter came to my school. Excuse me. Was his name Kudenko? That's right. Wasn't he strange? I don't know what you mean by strange. Did he ask you to sit down and there wasn't any chair? He did ask me to open the window, and it was nailed shut. He was good looking, don't you think? Yes, I suppose so. Yes. Do you know what I really think he was? KGB. Why do you say that? Why do you think you're here? I'm going to work at the National Library, assisting American scholars. And for that, you have to be beautiful? Why shouldn't the government want us most attractive citizens to deal with Americans? Is Grumiko a pretty face? <laughs> you know, I like this girl. She's got a mind of her own. She's impudent. Yes, and that's very American. This time, Victor, can we remember our priorities? 